Please be seated. And we continue then with the mission of the church prayer on page 10 in the bulletin. Eternal God and Father, we give you thanks for the blessings we share as members of your holy church, for the gracious word and sacraments, for opportunities to worship and to grow in faith and knowledge, for occasions to serve and be served, for fellowship with believers in our congregation and in our synod. Help us to rejoice in these blessings, dear Lord, and to use them faithfully. Jesus Christ, Lord of the Church, you give grace to your people by calling us to be your witnesses in the world. Open our eyes to see the great and noble mission that lies before us. In the hurting eyes of the lonely, in the pain eyes of the sick, and in the searching eyes of the lost, help us to see your face, O Jesus, and to serve others as we would serve you. Awaken us to the opportunities you give to proclaim your message of love. Holy Spirit, giver of life, through word and sacrament, bestow on us the wisdom and power we need to witness clearly and to act boldly. Help us to speak the truth in love, to give the reason for the hope we have, and to conduct ourselves with gentleness and respect. Set our hearts on fire as we work and witness for Christ. Hear us, Lord, as we pray for a family member, an acquaintance, a neighbor, or a friend who does not believe in you, or whose faith is weak or troubled. Bless the church with men and women who are willing to proclaim your word in places where we cannot go. Keep them and their loved ones in your care and let nothing hinder their work. By the power of the gospel, restore their spirits each day, so that they do not lose heart as they serve us and others. Move us to support them with our sincere prayers and our generous offerings. We continue then with our intercessory prayers that are listed on page 13 in the bulletin. Uh, those who are hospitalized, ill, shut in, or facing other trials uh, for Father's Day today. For faith in God is our dear Father, for our members and friends in nursing homes, and finally for the family of Bob Schrank, our Emmanuel member who was called to his terminal home on Monday. And then we also add another prayer for the, uh, for the family of Michael Lobman, and this is our St. John member Fred or Marcus Lobman's father who was called home on Thursday. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, grant people everywhere the blessing of a loving Father at home. In homes where fathers have neglected their duties or have been absent, help the children to persevere and to set their ideal for parenthood in your word. Lord, thank you for my Father. Direct me to honor, love, and respect him every day in every way. Keep all my family in the true faith in Jesus so that we may spend eternity together in heaven. Dear Father, dear Father in heaven, earthly fathers discipline their children the best they can, but you are the one and only one who disciplines perfectly. Out of love for me, you show me my sin. Out of love for me, you sent your Son to be my Savior from sin. Help me trust you enough to endure hardship as discipline so that later on it will produce a harvest of righteousness. Dear Lord, send your blessings on those living in long-term health care facilities and nursing homes. When the days become long, give the residents patience. When their roommates become a source of irritation, give them inner peace that lets them rise above the annoyances. When there seems to be so little cheer, give them the hope and peace that your word alone can give. Bless your word in the hearts of the residents and compensate for the physical abilities you have taken away with a rich measure of spiritual strength and joy. With reverence and affection, we remember you, old everlasting God. Our, all our departed friends and relatives who have died in Christ, especially this week, uh, Bob Schrank and Michael Lopeman. Keep us in union with them now through faith and love toward you so that after this life, we may enter into your presence and be numbered with those who serve you and look on your face in everlasting glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Wherever your word is proclaimed, O Lord, grant it success. Let your kingdom come to us and others, so that we and many more might join the assembly of saints and angels to sing your praise forever. Savior of all, hear our prayer and help us in our mission. Amen. We join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue then with our closing hymn. Actually, there's uh, eight verses. We'll sing uh, four now and then four after the blessing. A uh, hymn written by a, a friend of mine who's a pastor, actually the president of Manitowoc Lutheran High School, Norval Cock, about the blessings of fathers. So we'll sing the first four stanzas of A Father's Prayer is Two to One. <laughs>
morning and a blessed Father's Day to all you dads. I know I'm blessed more than I deserve with having uh, some of my kids and a couple of grandkids uh, in church with us this morning. We thank those who served in today's service. And uh, please, uh, as you leave, pick up the new edition, of the June edition of the Forward in Christ magazine. It includes uh, names and photos of our recent graduates from seminary and Martin Luther College, including this gal, who I, uh, I also know. Uh, this week, uh, we'll have a school board meeting, a virtual meeting, uh, Thursday at uh, 8 o'clock. And then uh, please mark your calendars for, uh, in two weeks, I'll have my son-in-law preaching for me. Um, yeah, first time he's been here preaching, uh, Justin Dickman, uh, for the 4th of July service. And then our new teacher, um, uh, Caitlin, uh, she'll be installed on the second Sunday in August, so August 9th. Uh, is her, her installation. So we look forward to, to those uh, special guests. Thank you all for coming. God bless you and your families this week. And happy dance day.